So I'm gonna talk about today how to fix crepey skin. The first thing you need to know about crepey skin is why do we have crepey skin? Um, we have two things in our dermis. There's something called collagen and elastin. And when you have decreases in collagen, um, that's how you start developing crepey skin. And then also when our elastin decreases, you get crepey skin. And then when you actually pull the skin up, it stays risen like a tent. And that's because it loses its elasticity because we have decreased elastin in our skin as it crepes. The first thing you need to do to crepey skin is to prevent crepey skin. And how you do that is you wear sunscreen at least 30 SPF on your face every day. I always actually go much higher. The one I have is a La Mer SPF 60 um, that comes from France. You can order it online. It has a really nice way it goes on. And also you need a baby amount to get to your whole face. That's what I like to see in sunscreens. Things that we have over the counter now that do a really good job of that are, is the La Roche Posay Antelios. You only need one little drop and it goes a long way. Also, don't cigarette smoke throughout your life. Cigarette smoking actually can produce crepey skin and people that cigarette smoke earlier in life have crepey skin later in life. Once you have crepey skin, things that you can do on a routine base to help build it are things that build collagen in your skin. So, one, you need a retinoid. Not retinol, retinoid. Retinols are sold over the counter and they don't have as much effect as like prescription retinoids do on building collagen bands. Two, chemical peels. Chemical peels build collagen bands and stimulate fibroblasts to lay down collagen. Three, ant antioxidants. Antioxidants work by actually capturing all of the things that eat away our collagen and eat away our elastin. They're called reactive oxygen species. And we develop reactive oxygen species from environmental pollutants sun exposure, cigarette smoke, sometimes the things we even eat, the different types of light exposures we have, infrared lights, radio waves. So these things produce radio reactive oxygen species. And if we decrease the reactive oxygen species on our skin, then we can increase the, the collagen because we decrease the destruction of collagen. And how you do that is with vitamin C serum. Also, there's a great little vitamin out called astrosanthin. Um, these are Japanese vitamins. The study shows if you take six milligrams a day, it decreases reactive oxygen species, and it also prevents DNA damage. So they think that that might have a beneficial effect not only on preventing creping of the skin, but also increasing protection for skin cancers. The last thing is good moisturizer. Good moisturizer doesn't prevent creping of the skin, but what it does, it prevents transepidermal water loss. The more water that you have the skin, the more plump it looks, so it will help a little bit with the creping on your skin. And you know, there's three types of moisturizers, but the one you're going for has to have three components in it. It should have a component of petrolatum, it should have a component of ceramides, and then it should have a component of something called humectants. And examples of that are hyaluronic acid. So when you look for moisturizers, get one that has hyaluronic acid in it, petrolatum, and also ceramides. If you wanna learn more about the topics we've discussed today, you can visit me or one of our other providers at 718-491-5800 or make an appointment at our website on cinederm.com.